So I've wrapped up my artwork here for the Lesson 7 Skills Practice, and as you can see, I've added some effects, I've used some features that aren't specifically covered yet in the semester, but feel free to experiment with them and make the project your own. I want to show you the specific settings that I chose, so I've grouped all the apples onto one layer group within my design group, and that's okay. You'll want to rename that, make, make it say apples. Um, then with the layer group selected, I applied a couple of layer effects. The first is a drop shadow, and you can see my settings here. If I move the layer styles dialog box out of the way, you can see that now I have the drop shadow that's on the container that I showed you in the previous video, and also there's the drop shadow on the apples. The one that I think is making the biggest impact, though, is the color overlay. Without the color overlay, you can see that there is a cool undertone to the images. I applied a color overlay and changed that overlay to be orange to make the, the apples look a little bit more warm. But you could apply any color you want for your liking. If you like the cool colors, you can make it even more cool. You could even choose a better shade of red. I also increased the opacity to 42%. You can lower it or make it as dark as you want and slide the opacity slider back and forth until you get something that you're happy with.